Hi everybody, I'm Brian Litz with Apply Ballistics. Um, today, I wanna to take you through a basic target engagement using Apply Ballistics Quantum. So this app does a lot of complicated things, but I'd like to show you just like the straightest and most direct path to getting a fire solution. Okay, and we're gonna start with building a gun profile and getting 100 yards zero and getting velocities, and we'll build that all up. And then we're gonna go and immediately shoot a thousand yards and see how close our uh, ballistic prediction is there. Um, this one is a 223 Remington. We're shooting 77 green match kings. Uh, we're gonna see how well we can predict. And that's not really a thousand yard bullet, but I'm hoping that uh, we'll be able to figure out where they're gonna land out there. So we're gonna build a new gun profile. I'll just call it 223. Okay, and here in the AB bullet library, we're gonna go in there and under Sierra, there's the 77 green match king and we're gonna run the CDM. Okay, that should model our drag really well. Our muzzle velocity will know after we shoot the 100 yard zero. Uh, the sight height for this gun, that's from the center line of the scope to the center line of the barrel. On this one is 2.61 inches. Okay, and the twist rate I think is a one in seven on this barrel. So that's plenty of stability for these bullets. Uh, the scope is an MRAD scope, but I'm not gonna set up a reticle because I'm using the, uh, I'm gonna dial for it. Okay, so we've got this profile as our current, but now we're not gonna use this now. That's just our gun profile setup. Uh, we need to get our velocity in zero at 100 yards. So I'm going to put down the app and get our 100 yard work done and we'll pick it up after that. Okay, you know what? I'm going to call that good. That's a good 100 yard zero. Might be just a touch high, but that's pretty close. Okay, now that we have 100 yard zero and muzzle velocity, we can come in and complete our gun profile. Okay, so come in here. That's the bullet we selected, the gun data. Now we know we're at 28, 29 feet per second. Uh, the zero range is actually 99 yards. We put our sight height in and our twist rate. Okay, we don't need any of this other setup stuff for the first time through. Okay, so now we've got our gun profile built. Well, let's come over into shoot and we're gonna set up this thousand yard shot. Okay, a thousand yards, when I laze it, it's actually 993 yards. Okay, and we're gonna get our atmospherics from the Kestrel. So after we put our atmospherics in here from the Kestrel and we build the rest of the fire solution and uh, we see what, what we get. I want to go back and see when we, instead of pulling atmospherics from the Kestrel, if we pull them from the phone signal, how different that, those atmospherics are and um, how much that affects the drop at a thousand. Okay, with the Kestrel, we have 77 degrees, 58% and 28.87 inches. Okay, that our latitude is accurate. We're gonna come over into target. Um, so our azimuth, I'm gonna press and hold this, find our target and set azimuth, 222. There's no inclination, the target isn't moving. Um, we have about a five mile an hour wind from one o'clock. I'm gonna leave that in there. Okay, so it's calling for 11.4 mils up and 0.5 mils right. So I'm gonna apply that and we'll see if we can put these on paper out there. All right, 77 grain match kings out of a 223 at 993 yards. If there's anything that'll stress a ballistic solver, this is it. So our first shot was one inch within the vertical of the target and I missed the wind by five or six inches. Now I have the chronograph on that shot was 29 or 28, 30 feet per second. And the average that we put in 
from our 100 yard zeroing was 28, 29 feet per second. So that shot was within one foot per second of the average that we put in the ballistic solver. And that shot was within one inch of the vertical waterline at a thousand yards. That's how it should work. Now let's see how the rest of them go. Okay, we just had a 223 shooting 77 grain match kings at 993 yards. Uh, based off 100 yard zero and chronograph data, we fired a 10 shot group at 1000 and it was pretty centered on the waterline out there. Um, that was 11.4 mils of elevation. What I wanna do now just to, uh, out of curiosity, is to come into the environment. Now, that fire solution was based on Kestrel atmospherics, okay? That's the, the best tool we have for measuring atmospherics. But what would we get if we, uh, so I'll write these down. Our Kestrel atmospherics were 77 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, 58% and 28.87. And if we pull the atmospheric from the phone, we'll get 73 degrees. That's a four degree difference. 73% uh, humidity, it's quite a bit different and the pressure 28.85. Now that's not much different in those. And in fact, it doesn't even change our elevation. We have 11.4, and that's exactly the elevation that we had based on the Kestrel atmospherics. Now, I showed you that there was no reason to have the refined atmospherics in that case, but that's, that's a thousand yards. The farther you shoot, the more those differences will matter. Uh, but in this case, you would have been just as well using the atmospherics from the phone signal. All right, so that was pretty good. Centering a 223 at 1,000 yards after just, um, we took a total of eight shots at 100. Now, prior to the shooting, this rifle was, it was just assembled. It just had this barrel and scope, bipod and, and suppressor put on. And the ammo, it wasn't specifically developed or anything. It's just pretty much a book load for a 223. And it is a longer barrel. That's how we're getting this kind of speed. If you have an AR shooting these bullets and you're not seeing that speed, it's a barrel length thing. So with just eight shots, we were able to do all of our 100 yard work. We got zeroed and we got uh, average velocity. Um, and then we finished building our gun profile, um, entered our atmospherics, target information, and centered a group at 1,000 yards with the 223 shooting 77 grain bullets. Uh, that's, that's pretty good for a ballistic solver. Usually it, it gets close with things like this, but you usually have to tweak it in a little. Uh, not the case. Now, something I want to point out, a lot of people might say, well, yeah, well, that's the rifle you tested the bullets with. My rifle is different from yours. That's not the case. The, when you pull up the 77 grain CDM or the CDM for any of the bullets in the ballistics library, they're based on an average of many shooters, okay? This wasn't just working for this gun. This bullet was measured out of many guns and that performance was averaged. And that's the unmodified ballistic solution that I was using to predict today. And it was, it was spot on at 993 yards. That's asking a lot and, and getting a lot from a ballistic solver. If you're on the range and find yourself needing a fire solution at long range, check out AB Quantum. It's a pretty easy app to use, even though it does have a lot of advanced features. So you can check out other videos on this channel to learn more about those features and how to use them. Uh, but this video is just meant for the basics, 100 yard work to getting a solution at long range.